Thank you for your interest and time. My name is Bayon Takizawa, and I am the Chief Business Officer at Continuous Pharmaceuticals. I'm very excited to tell you about our company and our plans to revolutionize pharmaceutical manufacturing. Our objective is to deliver high quality drugs to patients faster and cheaper through the implementation of our novel and proprietary manufacturing platform called Integrated Continuous Manufacturing, or ICM. This is important because our pharmaceutical supply chain is highly fragmented and uncoordinated. Different companies located in different countries, often different continents, are loosely strung together in this current paradigm, causing lead times to be many months to years and requiring a lot of costly rework. In fact, there was a study a few years ago that showed that the industry loses over $50 billion a year due to these inefficiencies. We believe that the losses are more. Equally important is that quality suffers with this disjointed system. While other industries are able to achieve Six Sigma pharmaceutical manufacturing per analysis by the US FDA operates closer to one to two Sigma. This is not the assurance that patients deserve. And as the COVID-19 pandemic has exposed, our supply of drugs is highly vulnerable to disruption, which can leave many Americans without their life-saving drugs. We believe our company is uniquely positioned to solve these problems and improve access to critical drugs for all patients. Continuous Pharmaceuticals is a spin-out from the Novartis MIT Center for Continuous Manufacturing, a multi-year, multi-million dollar joint research endeavor where ICM was initially developed. The project was very innovative. Rather than improve upon existing pharmaceutical manufacturing technologies, a multidisciplinary team of leading engineers and scientists developed the most advanced manufacturing system for small molecule drugs, leveraging advances made by other industries. And the results were very impressive. With ICM, we were able to take a 200-day batch process and cut it down to just two days. We were also able to demonstrate significant advantages in cost, plant footprint, environmental impact, and most importantly, quality. There are several components that enable ICM. First is the integration, which isn't merely physically connecting the unit operations, but rather intelligently integrating them. That is, developing a deep process understanding. For example, what are the critical process parameters for each unit, and how do they impact the performance of downstream units, and more importantly, your final product quality. Second, we implement novel continuous unit operations that we have developed at Continuous Pharmaceuticals. These technologies are modular and flexible, able to be easily reconfigured in a plug and play fashion to produce many different compounds. Third is the implementation of a sophisticated integrated control system. This is very important because the entire process is fully automated. And fourth is the end-to-end -end approach. That is, no longer separating your upstream drug substance manufacturing from your downstream drug formulation steps. Rather, we integrate everything into a single seamless process from raw materials to final product. Through this approach, we are able to differentiate ourselves from other companies engaging in continuous manufacturing. Whereas many companies are focusing on parts of the process and utilizing the same basic technologies or unit operations that are currently used in batch manufacturing, we are able to offer a single seamless process that leverages novel proprietary units that enable integration and enhance performance. We believe this is where most of the advantages of continuous manufacturing can be achieved. Imagine now, a single seamless process with no more stops and starts. Intermediates and API are no longer isolated. Rather, everything remains in situ in a single seamless process. To most in the pharmaceutical industry, this may sound like a fantasy, but this is what we are doing at Continuous. We have worked with world-class pharma and generic companies to demonstrate how ICM can add value to their processes. Our projects have ranged in scope. We have performed targeted studies where we examined how our proprietary unit operations perform against industry standard technologies. 
In these cases, we observed that our technologies are actually able to confer significant benefits. For example, in one case, our filter was able to remove an impurity that our client was unable to do with their filter. We have performed broader projects where we have developed end-to-end -end processes, including both drug substance and drug product manufacturing. Similarly, we were able to demonstrate significant advantages such as reduction in costs, footprint, lead time, all the while improving quality. We have also worked with government agencies. Through National Science Foundation SBIR grants, we were able to further develop important unit operations that comprise our ICM lines. We have worked with the FDA to demonstrate how we are able to ensure quality of API that is no longer isolated but remains within the process. We do this by implementing process analytical technologies, or PATs, and sensors that rigorously monitor the process on a second-by-second -second basis, delivering data to the integrated control system that maintains the process in a state of control. We have also worked with the U.S. Pharmacopeia, or USP, to demonstrate equivalency between compendia testing methods and inline spectroscopic techniques used for drugs manufactured continuously. And recently, we were awarded a $69.3 million contract from the Department of Defense to build a commercial facility able to produce drugs that can be used in the treatment of COVID-19 and other diseases. This new facility, located in Woburn, Massachusetts, will be approximately 50,000 square feet and have the capability of producing both sterile injectables as well as oral solid dosage forms. We are very excited about this next step and the opportunity to contribute to ongoing national efforts to bolster our medical countermeasure capabilities. Through this work, we have designed and constructed an end-to-end -end pilot line able to produce inspect tablets on a 24-7 basis. The process starts with the introduction of raw materials, which are then milled and gravimetrically fed into a dissolution vessel, ensuring the exact amount of each component. The reaction solution is then processed by our proprietary clarification bypass unit, which removes unwanted solid particulates that can negatively impact downstream units. This is followed by the continuous reaction and crystallization. In this case, a multi-stage continuously stirred tank reactor or CSTR cascade. We utilize different process analytical technologies or PATs to rigorously monitor the process stream. The next step in this process is our continuous filtration unit where slurries are deposited on a continuously rotating filter plate. Carefully placed wash blocks purify the wet cake and sensors help us monitor important parameters such as cake height. Our filtration unit is able to process material on the order of minutes. Following the filter is our continuous drum dryer, which is able to effectively dry the oncoming material. Similar to the filter, residence times are on the order of minutes. The dried API is then transported to the continuous extrusion molding coating or EMC unit where it is carefully metered out along with the appropriate excipients. This unit is able to produce coated tablets in a single step, shortening the lead time and reducing costs significantly. Convenient graphic user interfaces enable operators to visualize individual units and the overall system performance. Finally, we have incorporated efficient solvent recovery systems that reduce solvent usage reducing costs and environmental impact. So we look forward to working with your company and exploring how ICM can add value to your process. Let me explain how we generally work with clients. Of course, we are flexible to meet your needs, but this can provide a nice template from which you can decide how to work with us. We take a phased approach to reduce risk at every step. We generally start with a design phase. This is where we take the batch process and develop an ICM one on paper and then perform laboratory experiments to verify our assumptions. We also develop the initial control system through a simulator that contains data and information from our experiments. 
This allows us to see how the system would perform and respond to potential disturbances. We also perform an economic analysis to determine the financial impact of the proposed ICM process. After this, we transition to the development phase. This is where we take the data generated during the design phase and build a pilot line where we perform integrated studies. This is a critical step as it allows us to determine the critical process parameters, how to monitor them, and how to carefully implement the necessary control loops that maintain the process in a state of control. For example, we incorporate the necessary PATs and sensors and troubleshoot any technical difficulties to ensure that they will run seamlessly. The integrated control system is developed and connected to the system, providing us with a pilot line able to run fully automated, end to end. We also fine tune our economic model to provide a more accurate assessment of the potential financial impact of the system. Finally, we move to the manufacturing phase where we build out the commercial line and provide them any necessary assistance on the appropriate regulatory filings. In many cases, we anticipate that there will be minimal scale up between the pilot line and the actual manufacturing line. And it is important to note that we will initiate discussions with the regulatory agencies at the beginning to ensure alignment and a positive outcome. To accomplish our objectives, we have assembled a world-class team of engineers and scientists. They span the gamut of pharmaceutical manufacturing with expertise in continuous chemistry and reactions, workup, including continuous extractions, filtrations, continuous drying, and drug formulations. They are not only working on our state-of-the-art processes of today, but they are also innovating, pushing the limit and advancing ICM all with our objective of delivering high quality drugs to patients faster and cheaper. Hello everyone, my name is Salvatore Mascia. I'm the founder and CEO of Ira Continuous Pharmaceutical. By now, you heard my colleague describing you the history of this company as well as the advantages that the continuous manufacturing process can benefit from. Now, I also want to talk with you a little bit more about the future of this organization. But before I do that, let me give me an opportunity to explain in very simple words what does it mean transitioning from the old way of producing pharmaceutical in batch to the new way of producing pharmaceutical in a continuous or flow manner. It's like moving from a bakery type of process when you take step in and out through a fully automated assembly line for drug where you basically insert your component at each step into the process until the final product has been formed and released from the, from the system at the end. And it's fully automated. And today, we're here sitting in the, what is going to be the first in the US full GMP end-to-end -end continuous manufacturing facility that will integrate API operation with formulation for both oral solid dosage as well as sterile injection. We have a bigger vision from the company moving forward. We want to uh, create different division, one focus on genetic manufacturing and the other one focus on uh, innovator drug, basically doing contract development and manufacturing services for innovator pharmaceutical company. In order to really transform how we uh, uh, produce and uh, deliver pharmaceutical to patient, there is an important component of the distribution of this drug in addition to how you make it. So with the capability of producing pharmaceutical much quicker through the continuous manufacturing process, there will not be need anymore to store large volume of product sitting in an inventory and then being delivered to the pharmacy. But we can go straight to the end user by producing the product on demand and distributing them on demand. Through this vision of eliminating the classical world seller distributor, we can significantly streamline the supply chain and finally deliver better product, but also more affordable product to patient. So our vision, it's really patient-centric and we look forward to see the world changing in this new direction. Thank you.